and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to a crucial game week in the La Liga title race. Barca are heading to the Anoeta, just four points behind Atletico Madrid. This is a major test and again, one that we want to see this team come through. Everything you need to know and all of the build-up, it's on the way because we are feeling good. Kickoff will be coming to us at 9 p.m. local time, live from the Anoeta Stadium in San Sebastian. And here are the times right around the world so you can get involved in this crucial, crucial game for Barcelona. And heading into the weekend, Saturday, we've got Celta against Real Madrid. That they're coming from Balaidos. Real Madrid playing in midweek, of course, and the only La Liga team still in the Champions League. They're going to be facing Liverpool in the next round. And on Sunday, Atlético. Atletico Madrid will be in action coming up against Alaves. They were knocked out in midweek by Chelsea and a really poor performance from them over the two legs in that particular tie. And as you can see, when it comes down to the La Liga table, Barca are on the charge. We are now with 11 games to go this season, just four points behind Atletico Madrid, with them still to play, of course. And given that we will be playing again after both Real and Atletico are in action, we will know exactly what we need to do against Real Sociedad, who, as you can also see there, are in a fight of their own. They're fighting for Europe. They're in fifth right now, but with Betis in very good form and pressure as well from teams around them, they need the points too. And of course, guys, coming into this game, like I said there in the intro, make no mistake about it, we are feeling good. And I am not afraid to celebrate that whatsoever. It is a really, really good feeling right now. On the pitch, off the pitch, you name it, we are feeling it. Laporta's arrival, you've got good form from Barca, you've got support there for Ronald Koeman in his job, you've got a really good feel in the dressing room. We've had four successive La Liga wins, we're unbeaten in our last seven games in all competitions, and coming into this game, of course we we had some truly outrageous strikes on Monday against Huesca, and now we continue that. But of course, even in all the excitement, don't make the mistake there of thinking that we've forgotten about what it means to travel to Real Sociedad. We all know about the curse of the Anoeta. That phrase there still sends shivers down our spine. And of course, we've been on the receiving end of some really damaging nights in this stadium. And it's a team that regardless of form, they always seem to raise their level and cause problems whenever they play against us. But of course, back in 2018, after Luis Suarez and Leo Messi in sensational fashion. There were some absolutely brilliant goals on that night at the Anoeta. They broke that curse. They smashed it down. And since then, we have definitely gone to Real Sociedad with more confidence, with more belief. And we will certainly feel as though coming into this game, we can indeed get the points that we so desperately need. And I do also want to give a special mention to a certain former Real Sociedad player. Of course, it's Antoine Griezmann. He's going to be hoping there to follow up on the absolute stunner that he scored on Monday against Huesca. And it just so happens that Antoine Griezmann will come face to face there on Sunday with not only his former club where he spent the longest period of his career and where he really did make his name at the top level, but he's also going to be playing them on his birthday and let's just hope that in a Barcelona shirt, he can provide something special. And of course, guys, as we now do move on to the team selection, which is going to be crucial coming into a game like this. Koeman, before the match in the press conference there, as we discussed over on More Talk FCB, he did say he expects here a very tactical game. He expects to come head to head with what is a very good coach there at Real Sociedad. And what I would say there, certainly, when you're looking at the squad list, when you're looking at the players, there's not too many surprises right now from Ronald Koeman. And I think we are going to see that over the weeks to come more and more and more. Because let's remember here, we're going to have less games now. We are going to have a lot more rest, a lot more preparation time in between matches, and that's going to mean less rotation. It's going to mean here that Koeman is going to be relying on players that have proven themselves throughout the season, and especially at this point in the title race, there is no room for error. But in terms of the starting lineup itself, like I said there, I wouldn't expect too many, if any, changes in terms of personnel to the teams that we have seen play over the past few games. But there is one particular change that I would highlight there that we could see in this game. Because on the one hand, we may see a very similar team, an almost identical team to the one we saw against Huesca. We might see here Ronald Araujo return to the starting lineup. Would he return there in place of Longley with Mingueta there shifting out to left 
left centre back. Could we see De Jong again playing as that centre back who can move into midfield? And will Kuman line up with Messi, Dembele, and Antoine Griezmann from the start? With all of those players, of course, capable of causing Real Sociedad problems. That's one option, and it's a very possible option for Ronald Koeman. However, I do also believe there might be a possibility in this game that we do see something very similar to what we saw against Sevilla. Again, using that three at the back system, again with Ronald Araujo back in the team. But could he play alongside Longley and alongside Mingueza with three natural centre-backs in that role? And what that would mean then is that De Jong is back as an out-and-out -out midfielder, Busquets there, the deeper one, Pedri as well, and then only two attackers on the day with Dembele and Messi. That's how it worked the way it's severe. It did work very well. We went there with a game plan. We executed it brilliantly. Will we see a repeat of that? Or will Koeman keep freshening things up? Let's wait and see. And as we move on here to your predictions, guys, I have actually done something a little bit different today in what I've done with the predictions, because what I thought I would do is not only ask you there in my community section, but also ask you over on social media on my Twitter account, just to basically see if there was any change in feeling, whether the confidence was the same on YouTube as it is on Twitter. Because as you can see here on YouTube, you guys are very, very confident, but I would say cautious as well. By no means there is the majority with three plus goals. There is a lot of people believing two goals. But there is also there a pretty significant amount saying that we are just about going to win this by one goal. And I've got to say, very similar result as well on Twitter. The feeling right now is very good with us fans. We want to get a win. We hope to get a win. And given the form that we've shown, we certainly can get a win. But since it's a big game, you know, there's only one thing that we have to do. Because coming into this game, I'm going to say, Barca won, Real Sociedad won. Wink, wink. So that there, guys, is what we are expecting from the game to come. It does promise to be a big, big weekend for us. And I just hope here, especially given the fact that it's just before that international break, we want to finish on a high. We want to go in there carrying all of that momentum, all of that confidence. And that means tomorrow getting the job done, getting the result that we need. Let me know. All of your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Thank you indeed for your amazing support across both of the channels. I'll be seeing you soon with plenty more to come. Let's do this. And until next time, as always, Vishka El Barca.